Hey, in this Hostinger WordPress tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get the best Hostinger deal, how to set up a new WordPress site, and how to utilize all that this provider offers. Get comfy and let's start this WordPress tutorial. All right, first, let's get a Hostinger WordPress plan. If you already have one, use the timestamps to jump to the next part. For everyone else, click the link in the description or scan the code on the screen to go to the Hostinger's pricing page. Here, scroll down and you'll see my discount code has been applied already. Nice. Now, I recommend going with the premium plan since it comes with more than enough storage space and bandwidth. It also includes SSL certificates, weekly automatic backups, a free domain name for the first year, and loading speeds that can rival expensive alternatives. Overall, Hostinger offers probably the best value for your money. My advice, don't overthink it now, since you can always upgrade or downgrade your plan later on based on the success of your project. Two last notes here. First, if you can't afford it, I suggest going with the longer billing periods to make your overall price as low as possible. Second, before paying, double check whether the hosting or coupon code is still applied. If it isn't for some reason, just type in Cyber News. Once we have a plan, we'll need to go through the initial hosting or WordPress setup. Don't forget to confirm your email address and create an account password. Okay. Let's look at how to install WordPress on Hostinger. First, choose what type of website you want to build. This isn't that necessary, but it will tailor your experience a bit more. I usually go with business or portfolios. Next, choose whether you want to create a new website or migrate one. We're creating a new project today, however, uh, just know that Hostinger makes it super simple and free to transfer WordPress websites. For now though, select Create a new website. Following that, you can use Hostinger Website Builder or WordPress interchangeably on one subscription. Of course, for this tutorial, we're picking WordPress. But I just want to quickly mention that Hostinger Builder is an excellent tool for beginners offering nice designs, easy drag and drop controls, and interesting AI implementations, like an AI design generator. But let's get back to WordPress. You'll have to create a password and username for the admin account. I suggest leaving the name as your email address and clicking here to auto-generate a strong password. Just make sure you save it somewhere like a password manager. Moving to the next part of my Hostinger WordPress tutorial, choose what plugins to auto-install during the setup. As for my recommendations, the only plugin I leave is Google Site Kit, which allows me to see analytic data without any restrictions. The other plugins aren't bad, however, they are sort of freemium, meaning most of the best features are locked under a paid plan. Though you can't install any of them since they're easy to get rid of and you can access these recommended plugins anytime. Hostinger also allows you to start with a default WordPress template or immediately choose one of the more interesting ones. If you want an empty WordPress install, click here. For everyone else, I highly recommend going with Astra. It's a versatile and modern looking theme that has more design options to choose from. Next on how to install WordPress, the domain part. And there are quite a few options that you can have here. First, if you grab the premium or business plan, you have one domain credit. So select this option, type in your preferred name and click search. This will show you all available name and domain extension combinations. Select the one you prefer. In most cases, the best choices are names ending with .com, .net or .eu, depending on your audience location, of course. Before you commit to the domain name, make sure you double check the price underneath. It shows how much this domain configuration will cost you when it's time to renew. So just ensure that the price range fits your budget. Oh, and a note here, uh, if you want to install a WordPress website on a subdomain right now or later, manually enter your subdomain dot then domain name, so it looks something like this. Now, if you are running the setup for the first time, 
you need to register your domain name by entering your personal details and selecting the server location. Hostinger boasts servers across four continents, spanning Asia, North and South America, as well as Europe. This diverse geographic presence helps to speed up loading times. Keep in mind though that information still needs to travel distances, so the closer the servers, the quicker your website will load. But keep in mind though that you can change your server location for free anytime later on, so don't put too much effort into it right now. After this, you're done with the how to install WordPress on Hostinger part. Give it a few seconds for setup to finish and it will be done by the time you make yourself a coffee. Alright, we can now quickly overview the tools you get with Hostinger. First, you'll see that the Hostinger plugin and a specific dashboard have appeared. It's a very basic guide on the main things you need to do with your site, which includes uploading a logo, changing site titles, and uploading new images. There is enough information so that even beginners can understand what's where, so I won't go into too many details here. If you wish to know more about WordPress itself, I have a video for you right here. Though, be aware that some themes don't have a regular appearance tab and use block editor, which can be a bit more confusing. But if you went with Astra, the changing of title and logo is a pretty simple process. What I'm more interested in this Hostinger tutorial is showing you the specialized WordPress tools. So let's jump back to HPanel and check out the WordPress dashboard. First, it allows me to see information on PHP or WordPress versions. Scrolling down, I can once again install Hostinger's recommended plugins or a new WordPress instance. I can also see the SSL status and database name of my website. And I can even activate daily backups for this specific site. The most important part is the core. First, I leave the force HTTPS option on. This helps with SSL configuration. Next, if my project is still in development mode or I want to fix something without clients seeing it, I can activate maintenance mode and this message will be displayed for my visitors. I like that you don't need to add any extra plugins to your site and it's just an on and off toggle. I always leave the light speed option on. This greatly improves my website's overall performance since Hostinger uses Lightspeed configured servers. There's also a caching system, so there's a button if you want to flush it and load my site fresh. If I go here, there's a fully integrated Google's Insight Page speed test. I can do it as many times as I want, both for mobile and desktop versions. I suggest running it at least once to see how well everything works. Staging is a premium feature available only on a business plan and up. It allows me to create a copy of my website that I can modify and change without disrupting the original version. Then, after everything is changed, I can merge those two versions or replace one over the other. It's a very useful tool, but if you didn't go with more expensive hosting your plans, I would also recommend trying a free plugin called WP Staging. In the security tab, I can deactivate, update, or even delete plugins and themes without logging into the WordPress administrator dashboard. I can also activate this option to let Hostinger update all of this automatically. And if you're not running a complex project, I recommend turning this on. This tab is truly useful since a plugin or a theme can cause misconfigurations or even break your entire site. Beginners now have a less technical way to deactivate the culprit and fix some errors on their own. Alright, the last thing I want to mention, very recently Hostinger added an AI troubleshooter, a basic chatbot that can answer questions about your hosting plans or WordPress and direct you to the right place. It's still sort of fresh though, so the info isn't always correct, but I highly recommend you try it out for yourself. If this helped you, help us reach more people by liking it and subscribing to the Cyber News YouTube channel. And hey, if your friend wants to build a WordPress website, why not share this with him? Look at you! Having completed my WordPress tutorial with a fresh website install and knowing how to best utilize what Hostinger offers. 
I'm proud of you. But in all seriousness, I hope this WordPress tutorial for beginners answers most of your questions. Oh, and by the way, we're going to make longer, more specialized tutorials in the future, so why not stick with Cyber News? Okay, don't forget that discount links are in the description and you can click here for my next recommended video. If you want to chat or ask something, drop a comment down below, and I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I can. You can find more tutorials by subscribing. And of course, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.